personal consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome to another quick short review. As ever, I'm your host Luke and you are the Cheap Shot Nation. You're watching the dedicated movie channel for Cheap Shot Entertainment. That is Quick Shot Reviews. And if you are watching or listening rather on Spotify, you are listening to Talk Is Cheap, the podcast that goes alongside. Now, with Quick Shot Reviews, we go through a movie that we've seen recently and give you a quick review and that is the basis of the channel and the podcast and everything under 10 minutes so without further ado i'm going to take you through my thoughts on puss in boots the last wish really good film i'll go into the details in the main part of the video in the meantime do what you need to do and i'll see you there Puss in Boots is the standalone movie. I think it is actually a sequel to the original Puss in Boots, uh, where a character from the movie Shrek gets their own standalone movie. Um, Puss in Boots is, well, it's a really good film, actually. It's computer animated, but it's really well written. It's well acted. It's got all everything that you want from a movie like this. Uh, lots of laughs as well, which is always good. And Antonio Banderas playing a cat is always going to be a winner. I mean, let's face it, it's Antonio Banderas. Anyway, let's go through the premise of this film. When Puss in Boots discovers that his passion for adventure has taken its toll and he has burned through eight of his nine lives, he launches an epic journey to restore them by finding the mythical last wish and so in hilarity and adventure ensue and uh, lots of really like cute eyes and animals and and all that kind of stuff as well even though obviously they're computer animated they're really well done i've got to say they're really well done uh dual directors for this one joel joel crawford and Januel mercado um Co-direct this one. Uh, writers Paul Fisher, Tommy Swerdlow and Tom Wheeler are at the helm with the stars of the characters and the voices behind them being Antonio Banderas playing Puss in Boots, Selma Hayek playing Kitty Softpaws and Harvey Gullen playing Perito who is the doggy that tries to make out that he is a cat. Yes. Um, along the way, they uh, they meet uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And you've got uh, Papa Bear, played by Ray Rinstone, Mama Bear, played by Olivia Coleman, and Goldilocks, played by Florence Pugh, uh, as well as Baby Bear being played by Samson Keo. And uh, you've got to, got to have, with an adventure like this, you've got to have a main antagonist, and that is Big Jack corner because he's not little anymore you know he's not little anymore at all and then you see the uh, other things as well going off uh, with the governor and Pinocchio and all that kind of stuff as well but like I say uh, Puss in Boots uh, is just a really beautiful film it looks great the fight scenes are fantastic, done in a certain way that resembles uh, sort of Japanese cartoons. And 
yeah, it's great. I can't I can't speak highly enough of this film. It's really, really, really good. And um yeah, I seem it seems like a lot of people are picking up that that goodness as well as I am because it's brilliant. The music is good, the acting is great and it's just a delight for both kids and adults. There's plenty to keep adults entertained here and also the kids as well. This is really a well-made movie that should get all of your attention because there's more in the cinema than Avatar and Avatar sucks, in my opinion. But yeah, it's it's quite deep. It can be quite deep and it can be understood by kids as well at the same level. Um the like I say the visuals are really good and uh everything in between it just it deserves all the plaudits that it gets uh from everybody it's a really really good film and I would encourage you very much to go and watch this one uh so I'm gonna give it my cheap shot rating of go watch it and uh, yeah, give your money to the cinema on this one because it is good. In fact, in the cinema at the moment, you probably won't find a better film for the family. I think they're still playing Matilda, maybe. But yeah, you won't you won't find a better film for the family than this. Um, especially coming up to half term, or if you're already on half term, this is uh, as as we as we speak. I think it'll already have been half term by the time this comes out. So you may need to ignore that comment. But it is a good film. Really good. And my rating, cheap shot rating, is watch it. Because it is good. And I can't say that enough. It is good. Uh, Antonio, ben Antonio Banderas is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And the idea of an adventurer who is on his last life and being scared for the first time, trying to preserve that life. And uh, like I say, hilarity ensues. And uh, yeah, it's just a really nice story. And the, the outcome at the end has a, has a really nice feel to it as well. It's just a brilliant film. I, genuinely, I would go and watch this film again alongside... Matilda the Musical because they have been my favourite two films in the last two months uh, absolutely brilliant um, we've got plenty more to come obviously uh, you saw last week Knock at the Cabin, this is slightly different to that, being that it's a children's film rather than a, a very adult film at the 15 um, we've got a preview of Pearl coming up and uh, obviously Ant-Man and the Wasp as well is being released so yeah got plenty to come plenty more to go we're in february coming up to march can't believe how fast this year's going already and yeah keep watching those films keep enjoying and make sure you take care of yourselves you are the cheap shot nation i've been your host luke goodbye